The video's going live. <clears throat> oh. Video's live. I'm early. Nobody's here yet. <sighs> we'll just wait for people. Oh, hello, two people. Yes, okay. I have a fan on also. Hello, Posh with Pets, because it's, like, hot as hell here. I don't know where you guys are at, but I live in o I live in Ohio. Hello. And it's been, like, super hot here. Tomorrow's supposed to be, like, 93. Let me adjust this. <clears throat> Eight people, nine people. Hello, everybody. It's so hot. I'm sorry. Started a little bit early. Um, I wanted to list being watching your Hello, Susan. Yes, definitely get those items listed. Um, it's like the summer slowdown right now, and they say like sales typically just get a little slower around this time, but I don't know. Um, how was everybody's sales last week? Because my sales were complete trash. Let's discuss. Hi, Alicia. Mm. Last name Johnson. I'm sorry. I do not know how to pronounce your name. I want to say Kiari, two sales in the last two weeks. I know it's been so slow. Um, my numbers, I'll give you guys my numbers. My sales suck, yes. Mine too. Sold a coat, coat for 100. Oh, congrats. What brand was the coat? It's always cool that like people still buy coats and sweaters and shit like throughout the whole entire year because somewhere it's cold. Had my best week last week. Came out of nowhere. Congrats. Alice and Olivia. I haven't found Alice and Olivia yet. Two weeks ago, almost no sales in this last week, picking up to about 500. Wow, congrats. No sales for me. So it looks like it's all over the place. My sales last week, <laughs> listen. Oh, okay, that makes sense. My sales last week, I made $195.85. Listen, what? I can't do nothing with that, honey. I can't. Um, my profit was one twenty four twenty five. I sold sixteen items and I listed fifty five items last week. The week before that, um, my earnings were four twelve. Profit was three seventeen. I sold twenty items. So this week I sold four less and I listed seventy five items. I don't know if me listing more is correlated to the fact that I sold more. Probably, I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and decipher the Poshmark algorithm. Not today, ma'am. Found Louis Vuitton shoes that Goodwill didn't catch, sold for $250, paid $15. Congrats, lucky you. Can I find some designer? Still slowed down last week as well, but hoping it picks up soon. Hopefully. Oop, let's turn that off. Rebound from being gone for a week. Other work, sold Madewell and G-Star. I haven't sold my Madewell item yet. I sold some Madewell wedges. I'm going to start the haul, though, because if not, we're going to be here forever. How many hours does it take for me to list 75? I've timed myself once. I listed 23 items for my mom, and it took me about two and a half hours. Um, it really just depends on what it is. Belts are quick to list. Shoes are quick to list for me. Um, bottoms are quick to list. I would say the longest thing that takes me to list is Anything designer because hella research and dresses because I try to put all of my dresses on my dress form if they fit. I'm going to start the haul though. I think I spent 79 bucks. My, if you follow me on my reseller Instagram, it's Sean's, I'm sweating, Sean's underscore wardrobe. Um, my boyfriend gave me 40 bucks today. He's investing in my business. So pretty much every time I sell something that I bought with that $40, he's going to get his initial investment back. Plus 10%. So it's kind of like, what's he getting back? He'll be making his money back. I'm going to cash app him the money. I'm not going to wait until everything sells. Can't wait to see what you got. I did get some pretty good stuff. I'm going to show you guys what I bought for myself first. Just get that out the way. Um, the first thing I bought for myself, because we're going swimming tomorrow, we're supposed to at least. Look at this. Come on now. Look at this. Right? Cute as hell. Even if I use this twice and resell it, I love this. It needs wiped down, but I, I stand. And it's gigantic. I'm using it as a beach bag. So I got that. 
Um, I also picked up this. I don't know if I'm going to resell this or if I'm going to keep it. I know I love it. But this is Coldwater Creek. It's not even about the brand. It's about the purse. I think this is such like a cute little trendy summer bag. It has this big hoop and it has this um, like tooth detail or whatever. But it's just a cute little woven bag. Um, let me grab these. I got belts. I always buy belts. Um, the empty hanger taught me leather belts are a quick, easy flip. I don't like to spend more than two bucks and I've sold belts between 10 to 20 bucks. So I got this one. This is a Ralph Lauren belt. It's actually pretty cute. It's a Lauren Ralph Lauren black and gold basic belt. Got this for a dollar. And then this is a Coach Burgundy uh, 34. This is a men's belt. It's like a mocha brown-ish color. It says burgundy, but it's really not a burgundy. I got this for a dollar as well. Uh, both of these I already listed for $25 a piece. Um, so I did list some items already. I picked up these. Also, sometimes I disclose when I pay. Not all the time. If you ever want to like know for sure what something costs, I always disclose it in my What Sold videos. Um, these were a buck. I almost didn't buy them just because they're Mossimo Target brand, but I list them for 15. They're cute little floral escadrilles. Um, these are the items I listed already, so I got through a few. Cute little extra small in the net Laporte bathing suit. Super cute. I think this is like $2.50. Um, it's like a neon pink and like a corally orange color. Yeah, so hopefully you find that belt, dude. I love selling belts. I sold a a belt. I sold two belts this week, actually. Um, this is Net Laporte Extra Small. It looks like these are selling for about 20 I think I listed mine at 20 I got this for a dollar. It's no special brand. JCPenney's brand. Jessica Howard. They sell this at JCPenney's. But this was a dollar. So, and it's actually pretty cute. It has this mesh paneling detail, floral print, blue and white, midi dress. Super cute. It's a size six. I'm pretty sure I listed that for 25. Um, I also got this dress, which is a petite dress. I buy petites. I know everybody doesn't buy them, but it is a four petite. It's Ann Taylor. Whenever I pick up Ann Taylor, Ann Taylor Love, I try not to pick up the outlet ones. And it's this leopard print dress. It has this little gathered detail right here, and it's 98% silk. Um, this was a dollar. Super cute. It's a four petite. Love that. So I got that. Um, I have like piles everywhere. So <laughs> more shoes. These are Soul Society. And I just think these are like just like some classy ass shoes. They have this little detail at the vamp. It's a pointed toe, purple plaid. Um, they're pretty cute. I believe they sell Soul Society at Nordstrom. And these are a nine. <clears throat> This is another, um, I think Dana Bookman's actually Kohl's, but Dana Bookman tag, I got this because it was a dollar and it's new with tags. If something's a dollar, it's a low. Sorry, I live on a main street and there's a hill. Um, if it's a dollar and if it is um, new with tags, if it's new with tags, typically I'll pay a little bit more. And it is a, what size is this? Extra large. Animal print, sleeveless, knotted top, something basic. I'll list this at 20. Has anyone figured out their average sales price? I'm trying to get mine up a little every month and being more picky. My average sales price is slowly going down <laughs> because I've been letting items go for kind of whatever to make up for how shitty my sales have been. I think my average sales price right now is like 14 bucks, and that's like uh, embarrassing, but I'm working on getting it up. Yes, it's cold. So what is the most you've ever spent on an item? The most I've spent on an item to resell is I have a pair of Stuart Weitzman Gore-Tex Gorgeous ankle boots right now for sale, and I spent 20% off of 28 for those. <laughs> a lot of money. They don't even have one like yet. I'm listed at 150. I think they're like 450 brand new, but yeah, that's the most I've spent on an item so far to resell. Um, oh, actually, no, I spent. No, I guess that would have been a little bit cheaper. I spent 20%. No, it was 50 bucks, 20% off of $50. And I bought a 2017 Coach wristlet and I lost money on it. So yeah, that's the most expensive item. Found Lush brand in a boutique near me. Haven't seen it before. Have you heard of that one? Um, if it's Lush and 
It's like, I think it's in light pink handwriting. It's a junior's brand. And I think it, yeah, they sell it at boutiques. I wouldn't pick it up, me personally, unless it was cheap, like under like four bucks and cute and probably a bigger size. But um, maybe pick up a couple items and see how they do. So way too much on fake duty lesson learned. Yes. Saw that one. It was a good buy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully they sell. I thought Lush was a Stitch Fix brand. They might sell a lot. They might put Lush in Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix has Stitch Fix exclusive brands. So, um, fuck, I'm drawing a blank. 41 Hawthorne is a Stitch Fix exclusive. Um, I don't know if it's Crown and Ivy or Brixton and Ivy, but I know that sold through Stitch Fix. But I don't think it's a Stitch Fix exclusive. Um, what is the other one? I have... I have a couple in my store and I put Stitch Fix at the beginning of the title because some people love Stitch Fix. But um, next item I got, this was a dollar. It is Ann Taylor's, a size small. It is a black flutter sleeve. New with tags, originally $59.50. And it's just this cute little sleeveless top. Has two flutter details. Um, I'll probably list this at like 25 or 30. I think this is super cute. <sighs> Oh, hey, girl. Yes, you caught me live. Yes, 6 p.m. EST every Sunday. I got this. So my thrift store, yellow was a dollar, orange was half off, and then every other color was 20% off because of Father's Day. I typically get 20% off of everything because I use my student discount. So typically my dollar items are 80 cents. I don't know if this sale was better than what it would have been. Oh, gosh. Hello, Natalia. Natalia's my little sister. <laughs> Okay, so I got this. Um, are you watching me with mom, Natalia? Wow. This is a bathing suit top, and it is by Breaking Waves Swimwear. It's from Kohl's, originally 32 bucks, And I think this is a Junior's brand. And it actually has a date tag in it. It says 2015. But, oh, you're not watching it with her. But this is just a little bathing suit top. Nothing special. I also got this, and it looks like they sell this brand on Revolve. It's called Lolly Swim, and it is this tag right here. I got this for a dollar, but it's this black bathing suit. It's super cute, and I think I found a stock photo on it. That's what I was doing before I got on here. It's so hard to, like, there it goes. Okay, so that's the front, and then your whole stomach is out, and then it's high-waisted, and then your whole back is out. And then it crosses in the back. So I think it's super cute. And their bathing suits are like 88 bucks brand new. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh, okay. Found this for a dollar. Speedo bathing suit. This is on the Swim Outlet website for 78 bucks brand new right now. Um, there's no flaws. Pretty cute bathing suit, actually, if I was into, like, I guess not swimming for leisure and swimming for sport. And... Cute gray, purple, pink. Got it for a buck. I'll probably list that at like 30. It looks like Speedo Swimmers actually do good on Poshmark. Um, what size is the black bathing suit? The black bathing suit is a, sorry, I try to say the sizes. It is a medium. It's super cute. Like I, I think I found the right stock photos for it. Sold one, but still have the other. Yeah, swimsuits are, um, it seems like they're selling consistently, but it's still pretty hit or miss. So we'll see how these do. I sold a Victoria's Secret black bathing suit top, and then I sold that two-piece airy bathing suit that had the um, flowers on it. I think that wasn't a live thrift haul. That was just a regular thrift haul. I got a bunch of pants for a dollar, and what I actually plan on doing with these is taking them up to clothes matter and reselling them to them. So... Um, they pay out at about a third, so I'll probably get uh, $4 per pair of pants. So I'll probably make like 3 bucks profit on each pair, which isn't a lot, but I'm going to be in the area anyways. I bought these specifically to sell to them, and they're just brands that aren't super trendy, so I don't like really care to list them or take photos of them. Um, these I might list these, though. These are Ann Taylor Loft. They have a distressed hem. They're white skinny jeans. These were a buck. And these are pretty cute. They are a size 28 or a 6. And, yeah, I think the distressed hem is what makes them super cute. 
but clothes matter will probably sell those at like 14 bucks so i'd receive a third um these i'm definitely going to take up there because they are well they're all funny petite and they are a eight petite and it's an older tag. So Alfani sold at JCPenney's, not like a super sought after brand or something that resells for high, but they are cute, like eggplant, dark, deep, plum, purple, wide leg dress pants. So I'm gonna take those to them. Um, I got these for a dollar. These are Ink International Concepts. They kind of have like a, a sheen to them, if you guys can see it. But they're black skinny jeans. They have this gold zipper detail. And these are a size two. And they price them anywhere from like 16 to 22 bucks. So I will be taking those up there. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I found some plus size. I've sold three plus size items on Mercari in the last seven days and a few on Poshmark. Um, I sold a Lorelette top, which is a subdivision of Avenue. I sold a Torah dress and I sold a New York Giants New It Tags V-neck. So um, this is Espresso. I don't know what brand this is, but just from like the tag and the quality, I doubt this was expensive to begin with, but it was a dollar and it's a 1X and it's New It Tags. So I got this. It's a pretty basic top. Nothing too special. I'll probably list that at 20. Um, I found a stock photo for this. Thank God. It's kind of blurry, so we'll see if I use it. I'll definitely include it in my listing. But this is Bisu Bisu by Michelle Bobot. I thought her last name was Bisu. It's a size 12, and it is a floral bodycon stretchy dress with black trim. It's a pretty cute dress. Um, I paid three bucks for this. This will probably get listed at 30 bucks. Uh, Michelle Bisu is sold at JC Penney's or Bisu Bisu is sold at JC Penney's. Um, sorry, my phone went off. This dress I found a stock photo for and it is like super cute. BCBG is one of those brands. Um, do you guys pick up BCBG? I know it's it's super hit or miss. I don't like to pick up BCBG unless I can get it pretty cheap. And this was five bucks, so I think that's a good deal. Um, it is BCBG Max Azria Petite, and it is a 12 Petite, so it's a bigger size. And it's called the McKenna Dress. It's like this blue pattern, and it has this floral lace overlay. And this dress, I think, was $2.98 brand new when it came out. I'm probably going to list this for $50. But I think that dress is super cute, and I'm happy I found stock photos. This is another item. These are H&M size eight. They're like a legging pant. Like there's no closure. You kind of zip them on. Well, they have a zipper on the side, but these were a dollar. These are also going to close matter. And then these close matter is not going to take. I work there and I, I would hope nobody there would buy these just because they don't sell well for that store. But these are new at tags. Um, Sonoma and it is a newer Sonoma tag. Sonoma is Kohl's and they're like brown cargos. They tie at the bottom, nothing special, but they're new at tags and they were a dollar. So these are probably like, I would guess Kohl's probably like 45 bucks brand new. I don't know. Kohl's waxes sometimes on their prices. I have some more items down here. I got a lot for 79 bucks for sure. Um, my goal is to get my active listings to 300 by the end of the week, and I'm at, I think, 264 so I think that'll really, like, give me a boost in sales, and then I was talking about it on my Instagram, but I think the reason why my sales haven't been, like, super great is, isn't this hilarious? I guess I accidentally bought this. It's a tie, and it's, like, giving me like runaway type vibes and I do not like it, but I accidentally bought this. So <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm probably going to redonate it, but now there's public clothes right here. Yeah. So I forgot what I was saying, but <laughs> we're just going to keep going on with the haul. I bought this for my boyfriend. It's a floral button up, simple, basic figure I'd show you guys. And then I also bought him these, these are Tommy Bahama, like lounge pants. I don't know. They're super soft. I bought them for him, but in all reality, I'll probably wear these. And these were eight bucks. 
And then I bought myself a, I think this is Old Navy. Is this Old Navy? No, it's Fruit of the Loom. It's just an extra large mustard colored tank top. Okay, so now back into the rest of the haul. Um, oh, I bought myself one other thing, which is like ugly as hell and it's hideous. But I have a plan and I, I don't know. It was a dollar, so if it doesn't work out, it'll be fine. But, okay, so don't laugh. But it's like, it's like this jumper dress. I don't know. I think it's so fucking cute. It's like this jumper dress and it's this light pink color. And I don't know how I would make it cuter, but I just, I don't know. I seen it. It was a dollar. It, it called to me. Like it's, I think it's so cute. It has like front pockets. Maybe it's ugly as hell. I don't know. But I bought it. So it's in my possession now. More plus size. Always a great thing. Massimo knew it tags originally $24.99. Went on clearance for $17.48. Um, we're just going to peel that clearance sticker off. Because nobody needs to know. Nobody needs to know this was on clearance, correct? Um, but this is a 1X high-low skirt. It's like an ombre. Top is blue, bottom's white. Uh, this was $3. And I typically don't like to spend... I mean, $3 on something from Target, but it is a 1X and it is new with tags, so I think it's pretty cute. Um, do you source off of Poshmark? I've never sourced off of Poshmark. Um, I've sourced off of the Goodwill auction website, so I actually have a bag that I need to show you guys that I bought off of there. I was, gonna, I was planning on doing a whole video about it, but no, I've never sourced off Poshmark. I know some people source off of ThreadUp. Uh, I got this dress. This was a dollar. New it tags. Boohoo Night. It's called the Mia Placement Print Sleeveless Bodycon Dress. And I already found a stock photo for this. It's on sale for like 22 bucks on the Boohoo website, but it was originally $47. Um, I never go by that. If something is... Why did my chat disappear? Okay, there it goes. If, um, if I ever find an item still on the website and it is like cheap, like 10 bucks. Not everybody is going to go to the website and see if they still have the item. If they see it, you have it, it's a good price, they'll buy it. So I don't reflect my prices off of there. Um, this is 42 brand new from Boohoo. I'll probably list this at 25. Goodwill auction website. Yes, the Goodwill auction website. It's, I think it's shopgoodwill.com. Pretty much the Goodwills around the country, when they find like really good items, they can put them on the website up for auction. You can buy them. Um, the stickler is shipping and pretty much everything's on a bid. So, yeah. You can try the Goodwill auction website. Um, it, it gets addicting. And then I would just say the biggest thing is I would find a store that has a lot of good stuff and try to buy a bunch of items from that one store because then. Um, Sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. It's so fucking hot in here. Um, then you only have to pay one shipping. So that's what I was trying to do. Um, I got these new tags. These weren't a dollar, but they were half off 15. So what is that? 750. But they are Glamour and Lane Bryant's collab, which was actually pretty recent. New with tags. These are $69.95. They're a size 20, so they're plus size, and they are navy blue. Um, like dress pants, they're wide leg. And then they also have this crop at the bottom, but I think they're just super cute, classy pants. And I've been trying to get more plus size because I feel like Poshmark does a plus size party every other day and shit flies off of their like hotcakes. So I've been trying to get more plus size in my closet. I also picked up this plus size one. Oh, also if you are a plus size person, uh, I wear a one X, two X. A lot of my items will be going for sale on my Poshmark closet next week. Definitely, like, what am I doing? I'm filming a live haul, sir, or woman, or however you identify. Um, this is another plus size item. The size tag is missing, but I'm going to try it on just to see how it fits. It looks like it's maybe a 2X, 3X, but it's this off the shoulder. Um... Is there a way that I can, like, I don't know, maybe not. 
Um, sorry. So this is striped. Um, I think it's like a 2X, 3X. We'll see how this does, but it's Lane Bryant. Um, I got these. <laughs> Thank you. I got these. These are Red Express skinny jeans, new with tags, size 8. And it's not letting me, like, kick people out. So I don't know. I added you as a moderator, so if you could figure out how to kick him out of the chat, that would be nice. Um, these are, <laughs> my bad, y'all. Hold your composure. Come back. New with tags, express, red skinny jeans, size 8, low-rise leggings. Um, I believe they're like 70 bucks brand new. I can't find. The Here it goes. Yeah, $79.95. So, new with tags, cheap. Um, these are going to close matter. These were a dollar. They're just like New York and company stretchy. I don't know what to call this print. I usually call it static print whenever I list it, but they're just stretchy pants. So those are going to close matter. And then this is my last item. Yes. This is my last item. Wow. That was pretty quick. So these are Ann Taylor and I was in the store and I was rushing and I thought these were flowers. And they're not flowers. They're snowflakes. Digital print. Okay, I will definitely change some of my listings. I just call it static print, but I'll use um, digital print. These are snowflakes, though. Yeah, so um, I probably wouldn't have bought these if I realized they were snowflakes before I left the store. There was, I was in line. And as people, people, I had to move. To, because at my thrift store, they want you to, yes, one person's snowflakes, another person's flower. They want you to take off all the hangers. So you have to do that before you check out. And then I organize my cart by color, just that way it's quicker for everybody. When I'm checking out, I have my student ID ready, all that jazz. So I like move out of line and I come back and my cart is clearly behind the other lady. And I told this lady, I was like, hey, you know, I was behind her because she kind of like had her stuff in front of mine. And she was like, we know that. And I was like, okay, like, ma'am, what's your problem? But so I didn't even get to check over all my pants because I don't know, she pissed me off. And you know how one person just pisses you off at the store and you're like ready to, you know, fucking lose it. That's how I was. But yeah, that is, oh, I got one more thing. Yahtzee. This is a fossil belt. It is a medium women's belt, gold embellishment. Looks like fossil belts are like 35, 40 bucks brand new at Nordstrom from their website. So I would probably list this at like 20. Um, I paid, how much did I pay for this? I paid four bucks for this belt. So I don't like paying more than two, but it's a gold fossil belt. It's cute. We'll see how it does. Um, it should sell for at least 15. So I'll make a decent amount of money. That's all I've got, though. Um, I don't know. Like, should we talk about something? Does anybody, like, is anybody going to change anything different next week as far as um, how they posh just to see if it'll improve sales or just to try something new? I think what I'm going to try next week is to really not community share. I don't think it's been resulting in sales. I don't think it's been helping me. So I'm not really going to be doing any community sharing next week. So if you share like a shit ton of um, my stuff on Poshmark, I'll probably share yours back. But if I don't, that's why. So I'm just going to try to focus on my own store. I feel like if you do have um, time to share, you should be sharing your own store rather than I'm doing a live video just so you know. Okay. He's not going to answer me. Um, but I feel like if you have time to share your closet, you should be sharing your own closet over community sharing, you know, put yourself first. Um, I only community share people who do multiple items. Yeah, if somebody just shares one item, I typically don't share back. Maybe that sounds rude. Hey, I'm on live, so maybe you don't want to be shirtless. <laughs> I'm waiting for an offer to likers contest. I wait for the contest to send offers. Like a literal contest. But yeah, I'm not going to be community sharing next week. Not going to be doing that. I added a bunch of stuff for my own clothes on Poshmark. I'm up to 200 active listings now. Dad, are you listening to me? <laughs> you are in the camera. I keep moving my head to block you out. 
I just didn't know if you wanted to be shirtless on live. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go anyways. I'm also trying to get over 300 active. I'm at like 190 and it takes me five ever to list. Oh, when you can win all oh, the little contests that they do. Okay, I get you. Yeah, I feel like ambassador status, it's hit or miss. Some people say it doesn't really help them. I feel like it helped me gain new followers. I wouldn't say it really helped me get more sales. I think the best thing to do is to just share your closet and honestly just get your active listings up. The more items you have for sale in your closet, the more items somebody can pick from. So especially if you have like a variety of styles and sizes. But I'm going to go. I hope you guys like this live thrift haul. I'm going to be slowly posting these items throughout the day. I've been posting six items and watching TV and posting six items and going back and forth. I hope to have it all posted by Wednesday. Probably before then, I'll probably finish posting everything Tuesday. I like to just knock out my listing so I can hopefully make more money and go sourcing again. Um, a new store only started last month. Well, I wish you luck. Um, Poshmark's definitely been slow. I feel like as a whole, it's been slower. I know some people are doing good, but I feel like as a whole, it's been a little bit slower. But yeah, I'm going to go now. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Hopefully, I can post a couple videos this week. But if not, I'll see you guys Sunday. And yeah, definitely like go share your closets as soon as you get off this video because Sunday sales are typically good, but who knows? Peace out, bro.